Hey guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an interesting geometric necklace. I actually saw somebody wearing this necklace probably on Instagram while I was like flicking through the photos. Theirs was store bought. I don't remember where they got it. Some of you may know. If you do, then you can tell me where it was from and then I'll put the information for that in the description box. But I thought it was really cute so I wanted to try making it myself and I'm pretty sure I have all of the materials for it so I am doing it as a craft hoard. So let's go see what we can find and get started. Okay, I need that metal tubing. So I don't remember where I put it. Um, so I'm gonna need these jewelry findings. Um, tools. I don't know where I put that tubing. Hey, Graham. Okay, well, this is hard to do one-handed. So I'm gonna put the camera down and try to find the rest of the things. So I gathered metal tubing. I don't remember exactly where I got this stuff. I just know that it was at the craft store, but not with the jewelry. However, you probably could find pre-cut straight metal tubing in the jewelry section. This is just what I had on hand, so it's what I used. Jewelry findings, a lobster clasp, a jump ring and a crimp bead, thread, jewelry pliers, wire cutters, a file, and super glue. I cut nine two inch pieces of tubing, filing the ends to remove any sharp burrs. I also had to use my pliers to gently press the ends back into a circle because cutting them with the wire cutter misshapen them. I cut a length of thread about 20 or so inches. I tied a lobster clasp to one end, snipped off the extra thread and added a dab of super glue to secure the knot. Then I simply just threaded the tubes on. To finish the necklace, I tied on a small crimp bead at the end, as close to the last tube as possible. I cut the extra thread and added a dot of super glue. Then I added a jump ring, threading it through the bead like so. I did this instead of just tying the jump ring, because I was worried that the thread would slip through it. And now, if the jump ring falls off somehow, the necklace won't completely fall apart, because the bead would still be there. And that's basically it. And here's how it turned out. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I guess it's a successful craft hoard in the fact that it's actually a necklace. Maybe it would look better if I used more shorter tubes instead. Maybe 18 one inch tubes. Or maybe if I made it shorter so it's more of a choker. I don't know, maybe I'll try that one later. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, and Twitch, and I'll leave the information to all of those down below. Thank you to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you are interested in becoming a patron, I'll leave a link to mine right up here, and you can go check it out. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.